The first type of robot, the knowledge one, um, in order to create the AI that powers that kind of robot, uh, we can train it on the data that, that's available to us on the internet. It's all of the knowledge uh, of human abstract thought and text and language that's already available to us. But for the other two types of robots, we need a new kind of AI, an AI that understands and can, can manipulate and work inside the physical world, that understands physics and how, how the rules of the world work. The first kind of AI, knowledge AI, LLMs, chatbots, text uh, AIs, they understand the rules of language, they understand grammar, they understand those things, but they don't really understand color and geometry and space and forces and, and this sort of thing. So what, we're, what we introduced with Cosmos is the beginnings of building a foundation model, much like the, the foundation models we have for, for text and knowledge work, but uh, foundation models for the physical world so we can build these two robots. We can build the autonomous vehicles and, and humanoid robots. In order to train the physical AIs we need, the components that we'll use to build robot brains, we need information about the world, uh, about how uh, the world works, and we need to gather that information through things like sensors, cameras, radar, LIDAR, and um, from that, these AIs can be trained and start inferring what the rules of the universe are, what the world, uh, uh, rules of the physical world are. Uh, the problem is that there isn't enough of that data and it's actually in many cases either too expensive or impossible or dangerous to even get, gather it. So the best way to, to create this data is by taking what little we have from the real world and amplifying it, augmenting it or multiplying it by using simulation and AI together to, to expand that amount of data. Cosmos is the, is the physical AI platform that, that works with Omniverse. Omniverse is our simulation, uh, our simulation technology platform. We use Omniverse to simulate virtual worlds so we can create AIs, so we can train robot brains, and we can test those robot brains. As we create those AIs, we can then use those AIs to create more simulations. So they, they work in concert with each other. So we've built Mega on top of Omniverse, along with all of our uh, robotics and AI technology stacks to, to enable doing these simulations at scale. So we can test thousands of robots and thousands of autonomous systems interacting with the physical world. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.